Hello and welcome everyone to this video on SAP ABAP on HANA, Creating CDS View Entity by Zarn Tech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarn Tech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hello everyone, in today's video we will study about, you know, uh, we study about uh, ABAP CDS View Entity. So uh, we will see that how we can, uh, you know, create a CDS view entity. So the process of creating CDS view entities, we will again write for data service, we will go to data definition. We will go to data definition and then we will go to the definition. We have to give a name that's CDS entity. Let's give its name uh, entity demo. CDS entity, CDS entity demo description. Next, next. Okay, so here you can give TR if you have anything. So here, instead of you know, uh, selecting the uh, selecting the view, what you have to select is view entity. Okay, define at what it says. So it defines a simple CDS view with entity with one data source. Okay, so we will create it. Okay. So basically the, op the selection option changes when we have to create view and entity. So now here we don't have to give any SQL name. Okay, now the name is given. Now simple, it's very simple. We just have to uh, give the data source name. KNA1, let's say we created from KNA1. We will select some fields. Let's say KUNNR. Okay, as uh, customer. Okay, then uh, let's say uh, we select ADNR as address. Name one as name. Okay, so this is why CDS view is created, and we have to write here as C. We have to say okay. So now we have selected all the relevant fields. Now what we will do is we will activate it. Okay, and we will try to execute. So this is very similar to the, this is very similar to the uh, normal CDS view, but the difference comes in version and the option we select. So CDS came after the, uh, the CDS view entity basically. It came after the ABAP 7.55. Okay. It came after the 7.55. And you can see here that, you know, annotations are a little bit uh, different. Uh, this, uh, this annotations are by default. Okay. And it's, it's a very simple CDS view entity. Rest, uh, you can choose as per the requirement. I mean, you can put the a statement or you can put any select statement okay in the CTSU entity uh, we don't have any SQL view created it's directly one-to-one -one mapping it will click on it you can see okay okay so here what we can see we can do this here Okay, so this was never, this was a kind of, you know, uh, intentional that, you know, we cannot uh, view it there. But generally what happens is,
we can even what we can do is we can navigate it to the target. So okay. and the interesting show here is so SQL create. You can always check the SQL of query working behind this CDS your CDS view entity. Okay. And even you can have you know activation graph for it. So right now it's just only one CDS view entity. So you can see it here. And what other options we can spell is obviously you can do the package assignment as normal and rest of the options are normal. So then you can check it with this way. Let's say if this video is used dependent on something. So here it will show that as okay. So this was all about the CDS view entity. It was quite simple. You just have to select different option uh, on the selection screen, you know, in the options in the definition part, then instead of creating a simple CDS view, now you have to go for the CDS view entity and then uh, you have to mention a data source as I have mentioned, it could be any table. Okay. And then uh, you can select, you can mention the number of uh, fields, the fields which we have to select and that's where we activated and we, we, we can show the data approval and similar to any CDS service, it can be used for multiple purposes. It can be consumed as raw data service. It can be used in report. It could be used in other, the CDS view, you can extend CDS view entity and rest all of the functions remain same. So that's all for this video.